we envision these summits as working meetings on timely, um, relevant topics to the field of family philanthropy. It brings all of us together to address some challenging topic that's facing our field and then to explore and come up with some practical steps that people can take home and that we can report to the field for how to address these challenges. You're doing good things, but imagine if you could do it better. And how could you do it better? One of the ways of doing it better is to identify potential partners and beginning to figure out how can I get the, that community that I'm already working in more engaged in another way. We seek to create deep and meaningful relationships with the people that we fund. And that means really being present and really listening and using all your senses. How do we actually collaborate better so that we can take our skills, our resources, our time, our treasure, and our talent and join forces? That is the only way we're going to fix these big problems. The only way. Find out what others are doing in the community. And if you bring them together, uh, you find that there's a tremendous amount of synergy and one can play off against the other and two and two make five. All of these are really built around this idea that in this room we want to have a candid peer-to-peer -peer conversation, a place in which you feel comfortable talking about what worked, of course, but also what didn't work, what your challenges are as you're going forward. I would like to see that you know our traditional definitions around success of you know, wealth, power, and fame um, really continue shifting towards impact. Being able to make just small impact like that on people's lives um, is addictive. And as you grow and you keep doing it, you realize I want to do more. I want to be, you know, establish some more so that you can make more of an impact. It's not about pointing fingers and saying, well, you failed and you haven't, but really about how can we learn from these collective experiences that ultimately our work is more effective going forward. If you want this to be a family foundation through the generations, open it up enough so that those future generations can determine the issues of their time that they want to address. I think that you can actually show by example and teach your kids that every single person in the world deserves your respect, that every single person in the world is better at something than you are, and you want to find out what that is and talk to them about it and learn from it and learn about lessons learned.